What's up everyone? It's Megan from MeganCaseyGuitar.com. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, we're going to do What I've Done by Linkin Park, which is probably not a song you'd associate with a feminine face such as myself, but I like Linkin Park too. And I have a bunch of male students and they love this stuff. <laughs> and it's fun to play, so this is a great song. Uh, well, um, this version that I'm going to teach you is for ultra beginners. I'm just going to teach you the riff in the beginning. And then we're going to do, it's mostly four chords, there is a fifth, so you need E minor, G, D, and A, and then we'll throw in a C chord um, right before the chorus. So let's first just jump right into this riff that happens at the beginning. So I'm on capo 3. This song is originally in the key of G minor. Um, so if you're playing on electric and you're experienced, you'd probably just use bar chords. But in the beginning, people tend to want to avo avoid those. So we need, yeah, capo 3. Normal tuning. So you're going to take your first finger, which is your pointer finger, and then you're going to also need your third and fourth finger and you're going to put it on what I'm going to call the fake fifth fret. So ignore everything behind the capo. And if you don't have a capo, you can still play all the same things I'm playing. It's just not going to match the pitch of the song and of what I'm playing right now. So up on the second string, first finger, we are up on the fake fifth fret. So I just counted one, two, three, four, five. And then third finger is on seven on the first string. And then with your right hand, you're just going to be alternating. So you're going to be going down on the second string and up on the first string. So like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And then we're going to add the eighth fret with your pinky. So this is probably going to be the part that, that you hate to practice. But this is good for you. Um, so you might have to just repeat this motion a lot of times just to convince your pinky that it can do it. <laughs> it this will... This will be good for your future guitar playing self. So we're going um, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, eight, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, eight, seven. And with the right hand, I'll show you that again. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, if you're to the point where you're wondering what to do with the rest of your fingers while you're holding the pick, um, it's okay to rest your pinky on the pick guard, just so long as you've still got some mobility there. So here we go, we'll just do this one more time. So you get the idea, and you kind of just throw that in at any point. And then we're just going to take the four chords of the verse and we're going to add a strumming pattern. So our strumming pattern, this is a very standard one that you will use all over the place once you get used to it. So there's a little syncopation which basically just means there's a point where the offbeat is emphasized. So I'll tell you really quick what I mean by offbeat. So if I'm clapping one, two, three, four, that's our beat. The offbeat is that space in between the numbers one, two, three, and four, and. So you would count that one, and two, and three, and four, and. So those ands, that's the offbeat. So there's a point where we're emphasizing those ands. So we're going to go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So you know it's syncopation when you have two upstrokes in a row. It's going to feel really awkward, and you're going to like tense up and freak out. Like, whoa, what's my hand doing? So when you're doing the two upstrokes in a row, have your hand still travel back towards the first string during that time so that you're ready for that next upstroke. So just kind of watch my left hand as I do this on E minor. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That's actually called an air stroke. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. I'm just going to keep doing this so you can play along with me. same thing. Let's do it on the D chord. 
and A. You play A however you're comfortable playing it, um, so however you've learned it, you can stick with that. But I really like using my first, second, and third finger on A in this way. My first finger's on the third string, my second finger's on the fourth, and my third finger is on the second string. The reason why this is so good is because the A chord and the D chord are in the same what we would call chord family. So you're going to use the combination of these two chords together constantly. So having a string in common between those two chords just makes sense. And I have small hands. If you have giant hands, maybe that won't work for you. So you can bar it with one finger, bar it with the third finger, straight in a row, one, two, three, those are all... There are definitely things that are just personal preference. So, D, back to A. So let's put this in the song. So if you're used to the strumming pattern, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, which is, I'll just give you the counts just in case. One and two and, and four and, one and two and, and four and. So we are going to do one of those per chord. So in the beginning you have In this farewell There's no blood There's no alibi Cause I've drawn regret From the truth Of a thousand lies So let mercy come On the word come, this is where the C chord is there. So, second string, fourth string, fifth string. Let mercy come and wash away. Notice I had two of that strumming pattern for the C chord. So, let mercy come and wash away. section slower for you. I'm sure you're loving my sweet lullaby vocals on this. <laughs> you can turn on the real Linkin Park and you'll you'll feel it. So um, we're going to do the second chorus and I'm just going to slow it down so you can play along with me. What I have done playing with other people, you can throw in that riff again, or try recording yourself. So play yourself, record yourself with the, the voice memo app on your phone or whatever you have, and so you can play the chords and just repeat it a few times, and then you can practice playing that riff over the top. You're going to feel really awesome when you do that. So, or just play along with the Linkin Park recording. So, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my page. There's going to be a lot more coming. I'm hoping to release weekly videos now. So, comments on videos you would like to see me do and questions. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.